Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new and today we are continuing our legacy challenge. Very excited, very, very excited. I feel like crap today to say the least. And I just got out of a very long Zoom meeting, but I have been really craving this Let's Play. I really feel like playing right now, so I'm gonna push through it and film a video for y'all. <laughs> there are loads of things in this Let's Play that I wanna get done. <laughs> I have a whole list, so we're gonna try and get through some of those today. I hope you guys are excited. I miss you, I love you. School's almost over, I've got one more week left and I cannot tell you how happy I am. I cannot tell you how excited I am. Freedom is just a few steps away. <laughs> All right, enough. Let's get into this episode. I'm so excited. All right, guys, here we are back on the legacy lot. I am so happy to be here. All right, so first things first, let's have a look at the calendar really quick just to see what the heck is going on here. It looks like we have a birthday today, which is very exciting. Really sorry about this chair. Like every time I like move at all, it like makes that annoying noise. So I apologize for that. So it is Felix's birthday today. How very exciting. And then tomorrow is egg day and Zoe's birthday. So we need to max her skills. That's what we need to work on. Um, and also I was thinking that maybe we could like ha go out to dinner for her birthday with um, the whole family and Stella's side of the family as well just so we can see them a little bit more and since Zoe is like part of their family too I'm sure that they would like to celebrate with her So I thought it'd be fun to like go out to dinner perhaps what's everyone up to? Um, it looks like they're all still very depressed from Olive's death. She did die which is Super freaking sad. I miss her so much. It's gonna be very weird not having her around <laughs> Um, socks and snow. That does not, mm -mm. that doesn't vibe with me. <laughs> I actually emptied Olive's house, so, except for the, I just left like the fixtures to kind of make it look like she moved out. I did leave her basement stuff though. I couldn't bring myself to take all that stuff out yet. <clears throat> so yeah, that's still there. And then let's see, right. Ooh, level seven cooking. That's what's up. I gave Stella a few new outfits, which I'll show you guys. Um, I did want to show you the changes that I made to the house, actually. I, um, since we have a new kid, and Zoe's gonna age up soon. Oh, she stinks. Oh, she's stinky winky. Um, aren't these cool? They are little embroidery things. I just think that they are so well made. Like, that looks freaking real. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I added those and then, okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, oh, I added these pictures, which are also CC. I just think they're so adorable. Like, there's some good stuff out there if you just look. <laughs> uh, aw, some family times, look at this. I added this little hallway thing. I don't think I showed you guys in the last episode, right? I did this in between episodes. I freaking forgot. I apologize if I already showed y'all this, but um, this is the kids' room. So they're gonna share a room once they age up. So we've got two beds in here, one for Zoe and one for Felix. I went for a blue theme. And uh, I actually really, really love this room. I think it's so adorable. Uh, it just looks, it looks very childlike. Oh no, that picture. It's like getting cut. <laughs> Oh well, um, but yeah, I like the blue theme and I think them sharing a room for now uh, isn't a huge deal. We're gonna have 10 children, so we're gonna have to figure out how we're gonna work this out in this small house, but we'll work it out. And then I added another bathroom, a yellow themed bathroom. I hear a crying baby. <laughs> uh, I put more of those like little embroidery things in here and then they just got like a clear shower. Uh, yeah, it's technically the kids room. So I made it kind of like a, a kid bathroom And yeah, I'm pretty sure that is it. That's all the changes that I made I think oh, you know what I changed over here a little bit too uh, I just changed like the wallpaper and the Windows um, I just thought we needed a little greenhouse upgrade so yeah I think it looks nice. I 
I hope you guys like it. It looks like our death flowers are ready to be harvested, so we definitely need to harvest that. <laughs> we have a plant. Oh my god, I never noticed that. I never freaking noticed that. That is so funny. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, so I think that's all I wanted to show you. I think that we will do some gameplay now, which I'm very excited about. This is like my favorite series to film. It is seriously so much fun, just because there's so much going on. And I just love this family so much. I've grown so attached to them. Okay, so I think first thing that we need to do is I want to age up Felix because it's his birthday today and he's just a crying lifeless baby right now. So he literally does nothing. So let's go ahead and age him up. Okay. Felix aged up and he's going to be clingy. Okay. Definitely not as bad as fussy, but a fussy and a clingy baby, that's that kind of sucks. <laughs> not gonna lie. So let's have a look at him and create a sim then. And then we're probably gonna have to get Stella pregnant again, like ASAP, because we need them to get their 10 their 10 babies for the challenge. And speaking of that, I went over the points a little bit. Oh, and I gave Stella new outfits and a new look. Hold on, let me show you that real quick. I, with Stella, I feel like she doesn't really, uh, it's just hard. I don't even know how to, like, she, she doesn't really have like a defined style about her. She doesn't really know how she wants to dress or what she likes so she's been just experimenting this whole time with things um so before she dressed in like a lot of like bright pastel colors and now she's like toned it down to this like uh how do i explain just more chill style i guess except for this this is kind of <laughs> out there but um more witchy, I guess, and she is a spellcaster and she's getting like more up there. I really like this outfit. I know that it's like kind of basic, but I like it on her a lot. Um, so yeah, that's her new style for the moment. Who knows if it'll change or what, but I think I gave Ren more outfits too. Those are the same. Oh, that one's new. <laughs> I think this is rad. So that's the same. And, oh, that's hey. new. One thing that I love about Ren is she always matches her eyeliner to her outfit. It's freaking iconic. Oh, and for those of you who commented on my last Instagram post and told me that I was giving you Ren vibes, that's like the biggest compliment you could have ever given me. <laughs> I also changed Alice's outfits. That one's the same. Oh, that one's the same. Oh, that one's new. And I changed the shirt on that one. Okay, enough of that. Let's have a look at you, Felix. Aww. They're actually really cute. Black hair and blue eyes. You know, I think we could probably keep this because her Stella's dad had black hair and blue eyes and her brother also has, both of her brothers have black hair. So I think that kind of makes sense. Um, yeah, I think we'll keep that, which I think is really exciting. Something um, a little new. A new combination in the family. Uh, Zara actually had black hair and blue eyes. So, I mean, I guess it could have been passed down both ways. I love the all over freckles. I think that is super cute. I keep getting that feeling that I'm forgetting something or that I'm doing something wrong. I hate that feeling. <coughs> I hate that feeling, but I think everything's okay. This is a very different looking child. Like, um,. Stella's got some strong genes, because I don't see any of the old compost genes, you know what I mean? Like, uh, these kids are very different looking, which I think is rad. Like, I want to compare, like, the first children with the last children in the generation. I think that would be really fun to look at. Okay, I like those brows a lot. The eyes that he has as well, they're not um, the paradise eyes that I usually use. They're like a different default eye that I have downloaded and I don't know what it's called. Um, they're really nice though, like these are it right here and I like them. But do we want paradise eyes for our little bean here like everyone else has? I actually really like these eyes on him. It's just something different so I think we're gonna have to go with that. <laughs> And as far as hair goes, oh lordy lordy, um, I don't mind the short hair actually. We never give our toddler short hair. Aww, <laughs> that's 
<laughs> so cute. <laughs> All right, guys, this is what I decided on. We haven't used this hair yet, and I was having issues trying to choose a hair. Whatever. I mean, he's only a toddler for just a little bit of time, so it's okay. So what do you want to wear, my dude? Overalls? Oh, look at these cute Mickey Mouse ones. They match his eyes. I think we're going to have to go with those. All right, there you go. There's Mr. Felix. I love, 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 love the fact that he came out with black hair and blue eyes. And I like the fact that it makes sense, so we get to keep it. <laughs> and he is not a spellcaster. <laughs> so many of you guys laughed that I called him normal in the last episode. I just didn't know how else to express that he wasn't a spellcaster. <laughs> uh, okay, you need very many plasma packs, so please, Ren, take care of that. Um, Stella... Oh, let's get rid of this bassinet. Okay, fantastic. And he's got himself a bed. Um, alright, what else is going on? She is sad from... Aww. Seeing mounted fish from death. Uh, she's still bullied in school, which is really sad. Hey, what's up? Really, Dorian? Nah. <laughs> oh, I added this tree. I forgot to show you. I'm pretty sure this is CC, but it's a tree and it has swings built into it. How cool is that? I know it's uh, rather large and it's quite an eyesore on the lot, but I don't know. I just think it's an awesome, awesome idea. It's going to look so cool at night because of all these little lanterns hanging. Oh, hi, Dorian. How you doing? Let's hit bump him. Let's tell a joke about ducks. Why not? Okay, so what I have on my list for today. Uh, Max, Zoe's skills. Do the family dinner for Zoe's birthday. We need to write uh, songs or do that like memoriam thing for uh, each of the heirs that have passed away. So I'm pretty sure we only have one for... Savannah. So we need to do one for Max, Olive, Max and Olive, is that it? Yeah, 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 just Max and Olive. So since Ren has maxed a lot of the skills needed to do like the memoriam things, do you guys know what I'm talking about? So basically, oh my god, what is happening over there? Why are you guys arguing? What? What happened? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, stop. Why are you doing this? Pick on Dorian's weight? Smooth apology. That, that is very um odd of you, Charlie. You're supposed to be nice. Okay. Enraged. Hold on, hold on. Anger bomb, aggravating conversation, body shaming, body shaming. Okay. Oh my gosh, what is this being sad from? From losing a grandparent? My darling, you didn't even know her. It looks like Ren is... Is she working on a pro... National Sim Security Agency? What the heck are you doing? Oh, Ren can now make computer games? <gasps> I think that's one of the things you can do to memorialize an heir. Hang on, I have my rules right here. Let me see. Okay, ways to memorialize. Write a song for a sim, do a comedy routine, paint a portrait, write a biography, create a video game. Video games require level nine programming skill. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do for Olive, most definitely. So Ren, why don't you get started on that? Program, make video game. Okay, so let me add that to the list. Make Olive's video game. Oh gosh, and Ren, she, she has that eternal sadness thing from one of her vampire weaknesses. She's always crying, if you guys were wondering what's that, what that's about. Oh yeah, and she's also depressed from losing Olive. Uh, <laughs> she is struggling. Okay, bye Dorian. And what were we doing for you? Working on your archaeology skill. Uh, oh, your vampire lore is getting up there as well. Oh my god, your vampire energy dog oh hey look who it is it's the girl from my um shoot i think it was random genetics challenge alice why don't you introduce yourself to her 
Or should she be Stella's friend? You'll be Stella's friend since you're both young adults. Why don't you guys just get to know each other a little bit? Look, you guys, Batman ate his food and- Oh, he was passed out. He was just passed out near his bowl. <laughs> oh no, what's it is? Charlie is trying to figure out why he was cheated on. I still don't think that he was cheated on. Like, I don't remember it happening at all. Oh my gosh, they're not companions yet? Become companions. I'm gonna take Batman, or Charlie's gonna take Batman on a quick jog. Before we head out to dinner, let me just make sure everyone is in an okay mood. They're definitely not. Not even a little bit. So why don't we just make this easy on ourselves and grab a moodlet solver for everyone. I know that Stella can craft those potions, but we just don't have time for that right now. Maybe we should wait until tomorrow to go to dinner, since I still want to work on Zoe's skills a little bit before she ages up. Let's see how- Okay. Not bad, actually. So she maxed her potty skill and she maxed her thinking skill and she's almost done with movement. I think we can um, probably get this done before tomorrow. Hopefully, we're gonna try. <laughs> There's just a lot going on. I can't even imagine what it's gonna be like when um, when we have more kids. I'm kind of scared. Okay, so I'm having Zoe um, do some dancing to work on her movement. Stella is practicing her magic. Felix is doing his imagination on the tablet. Charlie is asleep. Ren is sleeping as well, and Alice, what are you doing? You need to come and take a bath. Oh, <gasps> you guys, you guys! <gasps> Kyla got married to someone called Alvin Williams. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So I changed my, um, my settings in MC Command Center, and I made it so uh, families can just uh, my sims could just get married like my played sims and I also put it so I could see who gets married and I get to choose which last name they take and Kyla got married oh my gosh I'm so excited I'm so freaking excited I can't wait to see her babies I don't even know who this Alvin Williams is but we'll find out let's see who else we got okay so that's it that's it for now you guys look who's here it's the flower bonnie just getting his groove on. <laughs> uh, I don't really like Egg Day in The Sims, so I never really do much for it. This is actually hilarious. <laughs> that guy Clay, he texted Ren and he said, I was just thinking about how we met. You guys remember how they met, right? She got artificially inseminated by him and it didn't work. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh God. The maid is feeling lustful. Get away from Ren. Okay, guys, so it is six o'clock. I think it's about time we go and have some dinner. How's everyone's mood? Charlie, your mood is great. Stella, you're just hungry, which we could take care of. Ren, holy cow. Um, yeah, you definitely need a moodlet mood solver. <laughs> uh, bam and bam. Okay, you have way too much crap in your inventory. We need to go through that. Alice, how's your mood? Hmm. Go ahead and drink one. All right, I think we're ready to go then. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We're going to travel or should we do a social event? I've never planned a social event for somewhere that wasn't at the home lot. So I guess we can give that a try. And we can't make it a gold event because it's freaking egg day. How annoying. Zoe, and then we'll invite Stella, Felix, Charlie, Ren, Alice, and then we need all of Stella's family. Hopefully I can remember all their names. Okay, here we go. Kane. Dang it, these pictures need to show up. There you go. Because I need to see who's alive and who's not. Riley. Oh my gosh, there's so many Bellamy's. Oh my gosh. Okay, Ryan and Kane are her two brothers, and then she has a sister named Cameron. Oh, shoot. Does she have three brothers? I guess so. All right, we are off to dinner. I didn't want to invite too many people just because I didn't want my game to come to a screeching halt. <laughs> so... 
Yeah, I just invited uh, the mains, like Dory and Max Jr., Stella's brothers and sisters, and Kyla. Oh, I also invited Kingston, just so Charlie can have a friend there. Okay, but here's Kane and Ryan. Not really sure what the heck he's wearing. This isn't even everybody. Where's Cameron? Okay, that's weird. It says they're at day daycare, but they're actually here and I can control them. So this doesn't make any sense. Oh my gosh, it looks like Cameron's pregnant. Ooh, very nice. Very, very nice. There's Kyla. Um, Janine's here. Oh god, Ren. Are you flirting with freaking Kane? No, you're chatting with Kyla. Okay, well that works. This is a restaurant, right? Okay, let's get a table. Oh god. This is chaos. Dorian, what the heck are you wearing? Who's this dude? <laughs> okay, we requested a table, but it's like taking forever. Oh, look, she's catching up with her brother and sister. I love this. What else is going on here? Ren is sitting here with Dorian and it looks like... Why is Max Jr. behind the bar? Oh my god, she's pregnant too! Everyone is pregnant! Pose for pictures? You're not even that famous, my dude. Oh, actually, you are a two-star celebrity. Okay. Can we get a table, please? <laughs> this is not working out. Oh my god, the paparazzi is taking pictures of him. Oh no, of Kingston. Just kidding. This is hectic. I just need a table. Okay, there's an order for table option, but there's no option to bring out cake. Oh god, uh, this did not work out. Not at all. We're gonna have to end and go home and properly age up the bean because we can't do it here. It's way too glitchy and there's way too many sims. Oh my god, and it's almost 2 a.m. We're not going to be able to age her up in time. This always happens to me. Let me see if there's a cake in the fridge. Because if there is, of course there isn't. <laughs> Maybe Ren can quickly whip one up. Oh, it's okay. You've been wearing that outfit for like five days. Can you please change? <laughs> Ay, what are you sad about? Don't ever grow up. Charlie is enjoying the thought of his little one growing up. Oh my god. Right as he's on his way to help her blow out the candles. That's so sad. Oh, right, hold on a second. Uh, what skills did she max? Potty and thinking, okay. All right, queen, let's age you up. I am so, so, so excited to see what she looks like. Yay. Yay. Okay. Okay. All right, so Charlie's traits are lazy, a geek, and cheerful, right? Yeah, cuz those the geek the geek trait and the cheerful trait got passed down three times already. Um, and then Stella loves the outdoors. She's clumsy and she is creative. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Nervous. Oh my god. <laughs> Geek again. Wow. I think that's pretty cool because like I'm definitely a geek even though it was never one of my traits in The Sims. So it's kind of cool how it's getting like passed down, passed down, passed down, passed down. Okay, so geek and rambunctious scamp. Okay. All right. Happy birthday, Zoe. Okay, so she had like dirty blonde hair and brown eyes. Oh my gosh, she looks so much like Stella. It's crazy. All right, so here is Zoe. This is the hair and the brows and everything that I chose for her. I kind of really like the dark brow, um, light hair on her. She had that when she was younger, so I'm just gonna keep on going with it. And I love the little, um, 
teeth poking out. Okay, let's find you something to wear now. So you are a spellcaster geek. That's fun. Okay, guys, I am done with Zoe. I will show you her outfits. This is her everyday outfit. I'll give her more later on. I don't I just don't want to spend too much time on this. Uh, here's her formal, her athletic. I love these shoes so much. They're so cute. <laughs> There's her sleepwear, of course she's flailing around because she's a spellcaster. Her party wear, this is her swim, her hot weather outfit, and her cold weather outfit. I'm very excited. This is our first blonde air, which is awesome. So yeah, there's that. I'm so pissed off about the dinner. Like, I had a feeling it wasn't going to work because my game has been uh, really laggy and just not very nice to me lately <laughs> so i figured it wouldn't work but i thought we would try anyway i do want to have a like a, fa a proper family dinner though uh i think we'll probably just cook though instead of going out just so there's not like all these other random sims around like messing things up all right so now that you're a child my love i'm going to get you to claim this bed and you are all set. I am so excited for you. The cutest thing ever. Um, so go ahead and get a head start on your homework. What's wrong with this bean? He's just sad from the death. Okay, well, Stella, why don't you cheer him up? Aw, she's doing something. Comfort him. Comfort him. Teach him to talk. Charlie, what are you up to? There's something wrong with you. All you do is stand there. Let me reset you. Uh, let's have a nice stream. <laughs> and why don't you play some video games so we can get you to max that um that video game skill. Play Genie's Curse. Ren, what's up with you? How's your mood? You're just thirsty. So, let's see. Drink, drink, and then please continue the video game. Oh, and pay the bills. We need to do that so our power doesn't get shut off. Program, continue making video game. Okay, and then Miss Alice here, what are you doing? Dancing and see what's happening. Nah, girl. <laughs> I need you to keep working on your archaeology. Uh, I think you're on level three because you have, what are you at right now? Six. Okay, I think level three is the one that you need to do or need to read to get your skill up, right? Oh, and the snow melts. Yay! Okay, it doesn't look like your skill's going up. Why? Is it the second volume need to read? Try that. Okay, yeah, it's the second one. It's working now. All right, so let's get a jump start on Zoe's aspiration as well. Play on a jungle gym while playful. Does this count as a jungle gym? <laughs> I don't even know. Yay, Ren's going on 10 days without, um, wait, no, don't supercell. Come and harvest this death flower. Harvest Death Flower, and then Supercell. It was actually something that we needed to do with the plants. Uh, let me see if I can find it. It has something to do with like perfect quality food, making a meal with that. Okay, here we go. Have a sim make a highest quality version of baked Alaska, the most difficult dish to make. Okay, did Ren Max her gourmet cooking skill yet? I Oh, she did! So we can do that in this episode. And then she also needs to max her baking skill because uh, there's something here that says have a single sim max the cooking, baking, and gourmet cooking and mixology skill. So all she needs to do is baking. Let's see. Cook a meal with at least two fresh ingredients that are of the highest quality. And the highest quality is perfect so let me see exactly what kind of meal we can make I, I think i feel like i looked at this before i don't think any of the plants that we have that are perfect quality uh, we can use to cook with but let's see all right so it looks like we have some perfect pear trees which I didn't even realize until right now. I've never seen this before. If I did, I don't remember, but that's awesome. I can't believe we have perfect pear trees. Perfect pear trees. We have some perfect apple trees. Uh, let's see here. I, we have a lot of magnificent stuff, but they're not ready to be evolved yet. So we'll have to wait on those. More mail. We have some carrot plants that are on the verge of being perfect. 
Uh, these strawberry bushes as well. They're almost there. I wonder, what if we fertilize it? Let's fertilize it with some poop, see what happens. Okay, nothing happens. <laughs> Maybe it'll be ready to be evolved by tomorrow. Oh, look at that. We have some magnificent mushroom plants. <gasps> well, that's good. That's good. That's good. We need mushrooms. And these spinach plants are pretty good as well. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Why is your hair blue, child? What the heck? <gasps> I will never understand why CC does this. Please spend some time with Batman. What are you up to? Oh, you're such a happy bean. Nicely decorated, soothing chimes, the good days. Oh, thank God. Alice has been working hard and she is now a high school C student. Yay! She's no longer failing. <laughs> thank God. I was, she was just doing so bad in school for a minute there. Have some plasma packs and do your homework, darling, please. And then this child needs bed, so I'm gonna send her to sleep. She's been on the monkey bars all day, working on that motor skill. Get it, girl. All Batman does is bark at the fireplace. That's it. Oh, and I asked you guys about um, Alice, if you think it was a good idea that we send her to university. And um, a lot of you guys say that it's a good idea because we do need uh, spots in the house. But she's going to have to get her grades up before um, that happens. So we have nine days to get her grades up. Whose birthday is next anyway? Stella's. Okay, Stella's birthday in four days. And then right after that, it is Felix's birthday. And then Alice's. And then... Wow. Yeah, we got some time before Charlie ages up again. Ren has a birthday? Well, of course she has a birthday, but how come I don't remember celebrating her birthday? That's weird. We haven't celebrated Ren's birthday since she aged up into a young adult. That's crazy. Maybe we should at some point throw her some kind of party. Even though she doesn't age up, age up, she still deserves to be celebrated. Aww, congrats on your recent birthday. Thanks, Olive. <gasps> that is so freaking sad. I wish Olive was still here. Oh my god, I missed it, but Kane just invited Ren out. Oh my god. I want them together so bad, but they're technically family now, so that's definitely not gonna work. But it looks like Ren maxed the programming skill, so that's good. Look at how tired she looks. <laughs> hmm, perhaps you should go back to bed. Oh my god, Ren was being mean to Zoe. How can you be mean to a child like that? What is wrong with you? There's a rumor going around that a crazy party is happening at the chalet. Nah, we good. We don't even know who you are. Hurry up with that video game. Dang, that's taking you forever. Okay, more people got married. Let's see here. No one we know so far. Oh, Gulliver. Gulliver got married to Kira Pleasant. Dang it, I just want Max Jr. or Dorian to get married. That's all that I want. Is that too much to ask for? I want them to start having babies. Look who came to visit Miss Olive's ghost. Olive's ghost. <laughs> And I think Patchy painted, oh, just this little figure drawing. Okay, look how cute. She's like, look, Grandma, I'm all grown up. Oh, you know what else needs to happen? Stella and Charlie need to get pregnant again. I would say that they're both energized enough. So let's get that done. 10 kids. That's a lot of kids, guys. This is like slowly turning into another 100 baby challenge. <laughs> I do a lot of baby challenges on my channel now that I think about it. Oh, they got fireworks. But they got negative romance? What the heck is that about? Oh my god, their relationship is so low. It really shouldn't be. It really, really shouldn't be. Come on, take that pregnancy test. Are you pregnant? Please be pregnant. Oh my god, she's not. Oh my god, what the heck? 
Looks like we gotta try again. We really can't take no for an answer. All right, uh, Alice, it's your turn to take Batman for a walkie walk. She's almost done with the video game. Almost done. Okay, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Repair? Okay, sure. But I also need you to take a pregnancy test. <laughs> Please be pregnant. Yes! Hopefully it's twins. Fingers crossed. Or triplets. That'll make my life so much easier. Guess what? We're pregnant again! Yes, he's happy. He's happy. Their relationship is still really low, which is unfortunate. I like getting Charlie to stream while he plays video games because it makes me feel like he's like streaming a game. <laughs> which I think fits very well. Looks like Ren was invited to a few things, so let's see. Toddler party invitation? Nah, we good. We don't have a toddler anymore. <laughs> oh, Felix is hungry. Come and grab this plate, love. Come on, come eat it, you blue-haired baby. We're just gonna pretend like he's not blue-haired. All right, Ren, how's that video game coming along? You're almost there, almost there. Almost there. I'm almost there. Level 9 video gaming. You go, Charlie. You freaking go. Bye, Stella. Have a great day at work. Both of y'all need to listen to teacher. Stella, you need to work hard. Hmm. The acting world is all about reputation. And with yours, you'll be the talk of the town. <sighs> Should we? I don't think so. I think she was uh, offered an acting job in the past, but we turned it down because we didn't feel like that would be her first job. Yes! Video game completed! Um, what should we call it? It's for Olive, so... Hmm. Let's call it Yellow Olives. <laughs> I have no idea what the game would be about, but I think that's a cute name. And Ren is now a notable new newcomer for the video game. Wow. Okay, so where is the founder day? Uh, new skill day? No, it's not that one. Oh, here we go. Air day. Okay, so we have gardening and mischief spirit. Gardening was for Savannah. Mischief spirit was for Max. So we need one for Olive, and it's going to be play video games. Oh, here we go, games, perfect. All right, there we go. We need something for Max. I'm pretty sure Ren didn't make anything for him yet. I don't think she did. I think the only thing she did was write that song for all, or for Savannah. So for Max, what should we do? Has she maxed her comedy skill yet? She did. Okay, so she can maybe write a comedy routine about him since he was her brother. I think that would be kind of cute. Um, let's see. Comedy. Compose short routine. Okay, and that'll take care of remembering all of the airs so far. Charlie, you freaking stink. Go take a shower. My friend said to me, what rhymes with orange? I said, no, it doesn't. <laughs> That's so perfect for orange to say, isn't it? <laughs> oh, and Zoe has good manners. Good girl, good girl. Cause I'm pretty sure she, um, everything was in the red last time. So she's got good manners now, but her emotional control, empathy, and conflict resolution is in the red. Oh, look at this. She's a commander. Bold, imaginative, and strong-willed leaders. Always finding a way or making one. Popular hobbies include taking leadership positions in community groups, attending social gatherings or sporting events, and playing competitive sports. Because they are so often focused on their careers, they may have few interests outside of work or they may participate in leisure activities that can also help further their careers. Okay, wow. So Zoe's gonna be very career driven. Which I like, because we haven't really had that many sims that are career-driven. I mean, Olive was, definitely, but... Mm, I don't know. I kind of feel like this is mm, different. Let's see what Alice got. I always forget to check their personality types. The provider, extraordinarily caring social and popular people, always eager to help. Popular leisure activities include volunteering in community, charity, or religious... That's right. No, we did. We did see that. I forgot. She's uh, training Batman to fetch right now. I don't think she has pet training skill. Oh, well she does now, she's working on it. <laughs> 
Oh my god, Alice is having a mood swing. I'm not really sure why she's just... Oh, okay. You wouldn't understand. Nobody would understand. Okay, that's fair. You do what you gotta do, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna get Charlie to help Zoe with her homework. Um, I really want to go on vacation. We just went on vacation, Ren. Maybe later. <laughs> Dang, he's really into this. That looks fun. I want to play that. This is Charlie's personality trait. Quiet and mystical, yet very inspiring and tireless idealist. Popular hobbies include writing, art appreciation, cultural events, reading, socializing in small intimate settings, and playing or listening to music. I can see it. I can definitely see it. Alice is a very- oh my god, will you get your butt inside? She is an extremely troubled teenager. She is depressed like 90% of the time. All she does is mope around everywhere. And this bean is like the exact opposite. Always happy, always confident, playing on the thing, cleaning. Okay, what's going on here? Tane, why are you even here? Have a deep conversation? I don't know if that's a good idea. Oh my gosh, she just tried to flirt with him. Okay, you gotta go, dude. Goodbye. See ya. Never freaking fails. You know what we need? We need a dating app mod. Unless it comes with Slice of Life. Let's see, smartphone, apps. There's no dating apps. Simstagram? Oh my god, send nude photo. Is that something she'd do? Joke about getting pregnant? Some of you guys were saying that uh, Caleb's wife is human, so there's a chance that uh, we, there's a chance that we could still be with him because she's gonna die soon. So I don't know. No! Oh my God, please stop. And of course, both your parents are asleep. Charlie, get up. I need you to do some parenting. Just calmly ask her not to make a mess. <laughs> you bored or what? 10.57? Okay, time for bed. We go to school tomorrow. What's she doing? Oh, wow. I guess we can work on her aspiration a little bit. She wants to find six collectibles, so let's see. Since it's nighttime, I think we can definitely go out and explore a little bit. Why do I feel like there's so many more trees than there were last time? <laughs> Alright, let's dig this hole. Okay, a limestone. Let's dig this one. Oh my gosh, look. Someone left their burgers. She's not hungry, so we're just gonna leave it. <laughs> she found a time capsule. Let's open it up and see what we got. See if it's something that we don't have yet. Uh, El Mira Clamp? I feel like that's a new one. There's another place to dig too. What do we get? What do we get? A limestone? Extract, please. Okay, one more and she'll be done with this level of her aspiration. Here we go. All right, another limestone. Yay, we did it! Okay, what's next? What's next? Collect five crystals, collect three frogs, collect three fossils. Okay. <laughs> oh, and she really wants to go to the ocean. Aww. Uh, I think I should probably send her and Ren soon. I feel like um, Alice would be really into skating, like rollerblading. She kind of seems like the type of girl that would, right? Like do roller derby and stuff like that. So I don't know, maybe that can be her hobby. Rollerblading and archeology. span <laughs> she stinks <laughs> that's ruining the shot <laughs> all right i'm gonna let her do that for a little while what's going on in here a nice family meal all right alice time to go home and have a bath and then let's go to sleep let's check in legacy house if this is a my sims trophy that we don't already have so an l oh i feel i have a feeling we do have this let me see. 
Yeah, she's right there. Dang it. All right, we can sell it. I know that we have the hilariously tiny T-Rex arms. And then what's this other one? Pre, pre, pre sim head. Do we have that? Yep, we do. Okay, we can sell that as well. And then I'm gonna give these upgrade parts to Ren. Oh, what's this one? Fossilized sea monster. Do we have that one? Yes, we do. Okay, great. Nothing that we found today benefited our collection. Wait, is Alice an insider? She's not. But she misses hanging out with her friends. Oh, you poor bean. I'll let you socialize at school tomorrow. Yay, Batman learned how to fetch. Who's a good boy? Let's train him to sit. This is the uh, skill that Ren can work on right now, is her pet training skill, and then I want to do baking. No! No mess! Are you in a good mood for school? You just need a little bit of food. Let's have... Uh, cereal. Cereal! Oh, cereal! Stella, are you working now on your own all by yourself? Why don't you keep that going? Time for school, Alice. Get up! Looks like you need a few plasma packs and then you'll be ready to go. 12 days? Oh my god, Ren is two days away from completing her aspiration. Oh, I can't wait. Goodbye. Have a great day at school. Alice, um, flirt with classmates? Sure, let's see how that goes. Let's see if she meets someone that she likes or if she gains romance with someone. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> Cute. That bee needs food like ASAP when he gets out of that bath. Okay, her social need is like all the way up now, so that's good. Now it's time to listen to the teacher for a bit. Oh my gosh, look! Oh, <gasps> she did get romance with someone. Oh, that's amazing. That is so fun. That is such a good way to um, make the game choose a significant other. Oh yay, Batman learned how to sit. That's a good boy. Okay, Ren. Aw, you can feel the love. Zoe looking at another student's test. I'm sure it was a mistake. All right, let's train him to play dead now. Charlie has almost maxed his video gaming skill. That's why I keep making him play games. How are Felix's skills coming along? Whoa, they are so freaking high. Wow, I'm stoked. Where's that um, bear thing that they can talk to? So he can work on his communication. Do I really not have one? Or am I just blind? Guess I'm just blind. Batman learned how to roll over. That was so fast. <gasps> oh my gosh, Alice is an A student now? Whoa! She really got those grades up fast. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of her. She definitely going to uni now, y'all. We ain't got nothing to worry about. So next night, Alice is just coming over here to have another skate session. Um, she's feeling sad because of her thick body type. Right, definitely. Oh my gosh, you can have confetti. Look at how cute this is. Oh my God. That's the cutest thing ever. If it wasn't so late, I would get her to invite that guy she's been flirting with at school. Oh my god, Ren keeps insulting people's weight. I think I'm gonna have to take out that body thing from Slice of Life just because it's wrecking everyone's relationships. Stella looks like she's about to pop already. Oh my god, and down she goes. Furious, oh my goodness. Okay. I'm having Ren bake some bread. Does this mean Batman is sick or- Oh, he was aging up. <laughs> okay, Batman's an elder now? Aww. Ooh, that is some fine looking bread there, Ren. For someone who can't eat human food, you sure know how to make it. Oh my god, no. 
Ren does not need to have this emotion bomb quirk. She's already super emotional as it is. Ooh, it's love day today. Hmm. Who should we focus on? I do want to end this episode soon. Alice, Ren, or should we work on Stella and Charlie's relationship? Oh gosh. Um, well, I mean, we could send Alice on a date and like come back to the house and just leave her to do the date on her own. Is there school today? Yeah, I think so. Ooh, those bagels look amazeballs. I want one. I miss bagels. One more day for Ren. One more. <laughs> that took so long. That is a really hard aspiration to complete. Bye girls. Have a great day at school. Um, yeah, you listen to teacher and then why don't you make some friends today, Zoe? Ooh, Stella's been invited to something. Uh-oh, she's sick. What were you invited to? Baby shower? Sure, why not? And then I think there's some medicine in the fridge. Uh, are you ready for your baby shower, Stella? We're all waiting for you. Are you still coming? Oh, it's her baby shower? That's so sweet. I don't think I'm gonna stay with her, but that's still really adorable. Oh, girl, you look horrible. But have fun at your baby shower. <laughs> I'm gonna go back home. Zoe has met Guy while at school. Oh my gosh, Ren lost the celebrity level already. Stella's been promoted, guys! Yay! What level is she at now? Level six. Okay, that's not as high as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> but she really needs sleep, so go and do that. Well, Stella is exhausted and she's in her third trimester, so I don't think that they should be going out and doing anything. Oh look, Ryan's here! Hello, Ryan! You are screaming for a makeover, my dude. I will give you one. I promise I will, but not on this episode. I'm thinking maybe we should invite that one dude out that she's been flirting with, Jalen. Um, let's see. Let's ask him on a date and see if he's busy. Let's send him a text and see if he invites us out. Ooh, 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 let's get out and have some fun at the ancient ruins. <sighs> Oh, I hate the ancient ruins, but okay, whatever. I was thinking more like dinner or something. But I gotta remember they are teens, so they probably can't afford it. <laughs> okay, here we are. Hello, Jalen. Um, it says we have romance already, so why do we have to introduce ourselves again? I can't tell if this is like a um a skin detail or like a skin overlay or if that's his actual skin uh, color. So let's find out. And let's give him a small makeover while we're at it. Oh God, he's married. Dang it. Never mind. Never freaking mind. He's a teenager and he's married. I think I need to change that in my settings because I put it as teens could get married and I'm finding that that is not a smart decision. <laughs> oh look, they're both feeling passionate. Hmm. Maybe they should at least woohoo, right? They don't have to go on a date, they could just woohoo. Cause I've been filming for almost three hours, so I really need to wrap up this episode. Um, not a lot happened, but I feel like we made some good progress, which is good. Please get your relationship up even a little bit. Okay, good. Yeah, they went from lovebirds to sweethearts, so that's good enough for me. <laughs> Wait, it went back down. All right, guys, I'm going to leave this episode right here. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.